This is a Gathering Heritage project interview recorded in County Louth in Ireland. Now, I'm speaking to Brendan McQuaid, and uh, Brendan uh, has retired, of course, a few years now as station master up in the Dundalk station. And uh, I just want to talk to him a little bit about how can you become a station master, or how did you start, um, Brendan? In what was your first job after you, you left school? Uh, well, after I left school, I left school. I did the uh, the railway clerical, clerical exam, CIE clerical exam. I did various other exams as well, the civil service, etc. And uh, I, I I got the uh, I got the CIE exam, and uh, I did a week in training course in uh, Orsina in Gardner Street in Dublin, and then I was uh, moved to a station in Ballymote in Sligo for twelve weeks, where I got experience. The idea was that you went to a small station where you got the experience in dealing with. Uh, ticket offices, uh, signal cabins, freight off yards, uh, lorry departments, etc. And Bernard, at that time, did you find that interesting, even though you were, you were very young? Oh, it was very interesting, uh, Harry. Yeah, because it was so well. It was it was experience, and it wasn't all that busy. Like to be truthful to you, the, the station master was was a gentleman, and the signal men were very good. And you could go down and sit in the signal cabin for a couple of hours, and they'd show you all the levers, etc. You know, I had had a bit of railway experience before that because my father was the inspector in Barrick Street, and I had worked as as, as a messenger there in 1957, 58, and 59, 60. You know, delivering letters around the town. Yeah, so you, you knew what it was going to be like. Then. Yeah, I had a fair idea. And then again, I was I was Harry. I was the fourth uh, generation railway. My father worked in Barrick Street. His father worked in 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 uh, Barrick. That was my great my grandfather, and my great grandfather was uh, worked at Monaghan Road uh, on the Irish North Western Railway. So we had the experience. <laughs> the fellow says I was the fourth generation. Do you know? And I often think uh, to when I got the job. You know, you were saying about. Uh, that this, uh, I had two maiden aunts who lived in Barrick Street, uh, Foxes, uh, at a small shop there, I'm sure people would know them. But uh, when I told them, in, uh, I was 18 years of age, and I told them I passed the CIE clerical exam and I was being appointed a clerk, uh, the both of them were raptured and said, Oh, that's fantastic, Brendan, there's a pension with that job. <laughs> <laughs> it was the name of the game in those days, wasn't it? Yeah, so I was just saying to my, I often say to myself, there I was at 18 years of age and 47 years of my life were just written yeah. off like that. Look, look at you now, Brennan. You've got the pension that we're talking about. <laughs> I know that. I know that. I know. Like in their, in their own way, they were, they were right. Was it very hard to, to, to comprehend at that age? Yeah. You know? Well, of course yeah. they were right, uh, yeah. Harry. Like, I mean, it was the, the name of the game in those days. Sure, you, you probably remember yourself what the name of the game was get a job and hold on to it like I mean either that or we had just talked the boat you know to England and that was it you know and listen to lots more epic interviews at gatheringheritage.com mm-hmm.